I looked at vending routes, I looked at dry cleaners, you know, a fast food restaurants, pizza parlors, even looked at the car wash business. In fact, I bought a car wash once, but when I finally stumbled on the laundry business, it seemed like a good fit for us. It was uh, an all cash business, no accounts receivable, and very, very little inventory. I basically just got on the internet and looked at everything I could find about corn operated laundries. And there's several sites out there and I actually connected with the Trade Association, the Corn Laundry Association, and they put me in contact with my distributor in Little Rock, Arkansas. I actually met with every, every distributor in the state. I looked at every store, anywhere I went, if there was a laundromat, I pulled in and looked at it because I wanted to get educated to make sure this was what I wanted to invest my money and time in. I was surprised that in a town of this size, about 70,000 people here, there were four stores and there was so much business that wasn't getting to the laundromat. You know, I opened a store twice as big as my nearest competitor and with by far the largest machines and the business just kept coming in, coming in, coming in. I, I've got a total of 10 stores. When I first started building stores, my first three stores I had Maytag and some other brands of equipment. My last seven stores, I'm 100% Maytag. We're an all coin store and uh, we've got some partially attended, fully attended, and non-attended, but uh, all except one or 24 hour stores. You know, I learned through building stores that Maytag is by far a premium brand of equipment. It's a brand that we believe in and it's associated with dependability and quality. Best warranty out there, five year parts warranty, you know, great product. And when you have Maytag in a store, it lends credibility to your store because they're such a household name. Just having a Maytag equipped store attracts people. And Maytag does a great job on getting us the most efficient equipment. The industry tells us that 25% of our revenue should go to utilities. And you know, I'm operating somewhere around 18%. All customers are going toward our larger washers and our larger dryers. These larger washers and dryers are a lot more efficient than our smaller machines. And that's what customers are demanding, larger, more efficient machines. You know, if we can get our customers to use the front load, high efficiency washers, put them in our front load, larger dryers, it gets them out of here, saves them time and saves us money. If, when I build another store, and I'm sure I will, I'll build another all-may-take store.